The beginning and the end is near. Avengers Infinity War. We checked it out yesterday. We did a little uh, review on it. Yeah, loved it. Yeah, so um, check out the movie. Check out a review. Or check out a review. And then check out the movie. But if you check out a review, it's going to be a lot of spoilers. If you're into that. Yeah. Prior so, to watching it. I like spoilers. So Not me. If, you, if you're like me. If you're like Vish, don't listen to this first. But if you're like me, listen to this first. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you like what we hear, support us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Uh Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Yeah. Where do you get our merchandise? The merchandise is on shop.lmfr.com. Pick up a tea on Teespring. And uh, support us because YouTube is not going to dish out these monetizations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're not soon. helping out the small guys. Yeah, no, you need that 1,000 uh, subscribers and 40, 4,000, 400,000 hours of watch time. Something, something crazy. Something crazy, something, yeah. crazy, something yeah. crazy. So, yeah. Um, all right, here we go. You're going to get, you're going to hear about it. This is a major spoiler. Uh, we're doing another movie review. Well, it is a spoiler. All spoiler review. All spoiler review, you're right. It is an all spoiler review. We are alive. We didn't get disintegrated. If you've already seen uh, uh, Infinity War, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> and if you haven't, get ready for that awesome ending. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's a movie review. We're going to score it, talk about what we liked, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then um, score it again to see if one of us changed our minds. So, sure. all right, wh- wh- what'd you get? What'd you give it? Out of five. Out of five now? Out of five, out of ten, out of ten. <laughs> all right. I can't remember if it was like five or ten. All right, we're going to drop it to ten. I think all it's right. just easier for me with ten. Just gives it a more. Okay, cool. Simple. All right, so ten. Just a nine out of ten, man. Nine out of ten. Wow. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, okay. You know, if it was out of five, I'd say five out of five. But if it's out of ten, I'll say it's a nine out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Actually, you know what? It's a 10 out of 10. No, no, no. I'm going to take that back. Refute okay. it. Refute it. I'm at 10. Okay. We're at 10 out of 10. Uh, so, what cool. did you like about it? Uh, everything to see. See all of like, the characters. No, actually, like, before we get into that, why did you give it a 9? Like, what, what was the drawback that didn't give it a 10? Uh, I it just... felt long. No, no, I right. enjoyed I everything it of it. It's just, you know, uh, uh, for me again. I think we've said it before. I nothing can be perfect. God of War, huh? You gave God of War ten out of ten. Yeah, because it's a single game. Did I give it ten out of ten? Yeah. Yeah. Well, games are different. All right. <laughs> okay. Game reviews right. are different than movies. Touche. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Cool. <laughs> so uh, I have to explain myself. So uh, you you liked it. So for you, it's pretty much a 10 out of 10 because you don't give a 10 for any movies. Yeah, All right, cool, that, cool. Sure. All right, that's cool. So, uh, yeah, well, what did you think? I'm trying to think of it. Did I really have any flaws? I, I honestly thought it was kind of long at points, but we did watch The Late Show, and I didn't really get a lot of sleep the night before. <laughs> so I, I was kind of tired, but yeah. I don't know. I'm going to see it again yeah. on Tuesday. Um, oh, yeah. We'll see if maybe it, it'll... Um, It'll not be as dragging this mm-hmm. second time. It wasn't like dragging. It was kind of like actually when it first started. Right, let's just jump right in. So when it first started, I was kind of like, "Is the acting gonna be poor?" Because they were dropping a lot of jokes, and the way it was filmed was too clean. I was like, "Oh, did they like? Did they pull a Justice League with this one? No. Like, did I, they mess it up?" No, I, 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 that's all the Marvel movies are like this. Yeah, no, no, but it was like it was like too too clean. Like the way they shot it, I guess like. Maybe because we saw it in IMAX, so it was just too sharp. Like, I need to see it oh, more, uh, like, dumbed down. Oh, I liked it, though. You know what I mean? Like, I liked the IMAX. Oh, okay, yeah. I actually prefer 3D. I was going to say, I, I would have liked to see this movie in 3D. Well, I'm going to see it in 3D mm, on Tuesday, but... Yeah, I don't know if it was filmed in 3D, that's why. Oh, I, I like the depth thing. Like, I feel like this is one of those depth movies, you know? Right. Because it was, like, it was so, like, um, CGI'd, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, if you notice, Spider-Man and uh, Iron Man... Their heads were not CGI, but their whole bodies were. So that was yeah. tripping me out because it was too clear, right? Because we were in IMAX, and it was like, oh, like, I can tell that it's like CGI'd, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but yeah, that was my only flaw. I'd say that like the action scenes felt a bit long. Story was good. Like, there's movies that are really long, just like this one. Like, what was it two and a half hours? Yeah. Yeah. So um, uh, Ready Player One was two and a half hours, and didn't feel long at all. Like, I wanted to keep staying in the world. You know? uh, I wanted to stay in this world. More oh, than true. that one, actually. Oh, really? Oh, well, yeah. yeah. 
I, I get why. I mean, it's, it's a superhero movie, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, so you, you thought it was... Uh, well, what what did you think? Uh, you want to start just from the beginning? Yeah, sure. Let's, we'll, let's drop, yeah, we'll go linearly. Linear progression of time. So wait, I like the way it started. You're at... I guess this is where, where Thor ended. Yeah, yeah. As you were leaving, that was the ship that they were on. Okay, yeah. Basically, uh, is all of Asgard dead? No, half. Half of Asgard's dead. Um, Thor said that later on in the movie. Oh, he did say yeah, that? Yeah, he said he wiped out half of my um, civilization. But then... They had two ships? I don't know, whatever. But I thought... I didn't I didn't hear that, but I thought it was all of them were dead. No, no, no. He wiped out half. And then Thanos, later on, he said mm-hmm. he he always wipes out half. Oh, like, that's his MO. He wipes right, out half because right. then the other I half can become, saying. like, positive. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So that would make more sense if, like, Krog and the... Um, Krog. And the Valkyrie woman were in that ship, I guess. Who are those people? From Thor. Because people Thor. were wondering... It was a good movie. Thor was awesome. Yeah, no, no. People were wondering, where is the Valkyrie and where is that? It was the oh, rock yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, the, the Valkyrie. Were, so the, the then it would make yeah. more sense if you were saying... That he slaughtered half. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause I just Thor thought there was, was like, only one ship. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what I assumed here because that's what it sounded like. It seemed like he killed everyone. Yeah. yeah. And or so, which is a great segue into um, Th- uh, Thanos' mindset. You know, I know we're jumping a little yeah. ahead, but um, so the whole premise behind Thanos, like, even though he's like this killer, um, mm-hmm. what he does is he, he wipes out half of uh, a planet so that the other half, like, it's like overpopulation. You need to, yeah. like, he's like, he even said it. He's like, there's a limited amount of resources. You need to wipe out half so that the other half can flourish and there'll right. be enough resources for all. Right? He's like, have, to Gamora, he's like, have you been back to your home world? Because she's like, you killed my mother, all this. He's like, have you been back to your home world? She's like, no. And he's like, it's a prosperous place now. Huh. Like, people are really happy right. because there's enough resources to go around. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm doing the righteous, I'm doing the thing that most people can't do. Right. And when I heard that, like, I didn't say it to you, but we said it to each other at the end. But when I, when I heard that, I was like, I kind of agree with that. Like, I would I'd probably work with Thanos on that one. Like, that makes a lot of sense. You know, right, right, right. it's like, yeah, overpopulation and greed. You know, I think he even said something about greed later, later on, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, I think he was a villain that I liked. Hey, he was like, a, he was like an antihero. Yeah. You know, Thanos. And he, he really loved Gamora, which is interesting to see. Oh yeah. I we're totally jumping around in this uh in this uh this spoiler ridden uh, <laughs> review. Yeah, so did they kill Loki? Probably, yeah. Is he dead dead? Okay, let's jump to the biggest point of the movie, the very end cuz we're talking about dead people. So like the very ending when he got all infinity stones and then he wiped out I guess half of the universe cuz they started to disappear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah. I was like it, I get it from a Marvel perspective as a business. You would want to, like, you've had such a long franchise to continue it on this way. It's like, yeah, yeah. you can make a lot of money, but it's like, we need to start fresh or something, you know? And it's like, mm-hmm. if if they do... You're, you're up, half right in that one in the aspect of... Yes. Fresh. Yes. Uh, like, if, or but, like if, if they did kill all the people that they killed, they allegedly killed at the end of that movie, it's like... I'd be pretty. I'd be pretty cool with that. Yeah, but you know? but if they, they don't, then it'd be kind of cheap. They didn't kill the main people that were there from the beginning of this. Oh, because they have to bring us home. They have to bring us home. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is it's the next movie. Oh, were they, they really in order bad. to choose? Oh, you're choosing a even, soul for a soul. They didn't even. Oh, that's interesting. I heard that somewhere. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, because that's kind of cool. because Spider Man is he only had one movie and obviously Tony there's going to be coming back. Up. Oh yeah, yeah because 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 I and Man, all these guys are getting the contract. contracts. Yeah, their contracts are coming to an end. Yeah. So so if you actually look at it from a business standpoint, it's like yeah, this yeah. makes sense. Like that's, you know, that's will be for the next. Oh, a soul for a soul. I like that. That's pretty good because that would make sense. And then like, spy, obviously, Iron Man would give up his life for Spider Man because that's his boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, know. Yeah. So then, yeah. you know, because Robert Downey Jr. is like, I can't play Iron Man forever. Man. <laughs> you know, getting old. You know that here. That's true. So like, he's gonna give himself up for um, thing. Maybe Captain America will give himself up for Black Panther. We'll have a Black Panther series. Maybe. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because Captain America is pretty old too. But the one I'm really yeah. like looking for is Robert Downey Jr. because his role 
was the one that started all Iron Man number one. Ten years one. ago, yeah. yeah. Iron Man number one was amazing. That first movie blew my mind. First ever, like first time ever seeing that kind of like superhero style movie, mm-hmm. you know. And then after that, it's just like everything else just spawned from there. He was the impetus for the Infinity War, and he was like even the yeah. climax for it. Like he's the one who brought it all together, you know. Mm-hmm. He's like we're gonna oh, see yeah. Thanos, yeah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah blah blah, and it's like it and would, we grew up with that. Exactly, yeah. Soul for a soul, I like that. That would be really cool, actually. <laughs> I'm I'm stoked on that idea now because because they killed a lot of people. I was like, oh, you only had one movie, like Black yeah, Panther yeah, exactly. Or That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They have to be back. Yeah. So when is the next? Like even Infinity even War? even with the Guardians, most of the Guardians are gone. Yeah, true, true, true. So what? When is when is the next one gonna come back? Come out the uh, next Thanos movie? I like how they wrote next, Thanos my... will be back. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, it's funny. Uh. Don't say next year. It's next year. What? Yeah. Oh, perfect. I, I thought we were gonna. Have, I thought we were gonna have to be wait like uh, freaking years and years for that. No, 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 no. Because so the next two movies in the Marvel world is Ant Man. Oh yeah. And what I've been reading is maybe that the disappearance starts happening maybe at the end of Ant-Man too. So it is kind of like at the same timeline. Oh. And yeah, did because, they do something. Because they brought that up. And then they, they, they're yeah. like, where's Ant-Man and where's uh, Hawkeye? Yeah, of course they have to. Yeah, because it's a big Avengers movie, right? Where are these guys? And they're like, oh, they're with their families. They got asylum, some some crap like that. But yeah. like, oh, that would be kind of cool, actually. Yeah, to see them, people disappearing. And then, and then Ant-Man is called. He's like, I have to go. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, we'll see how, how it works. Because they, they could, there's a lot of things that they could do. With those ones. And then the next movie is what they've... At the end of the credits. They showed... The credits. Um, it, it's uh, Miss Marvel? Yeah, it's also Ms. known Marvel. as Captain Marvel. Yeah, but... but There's Captain... many names of Captain Marvel. I was just looking it up. There's okay. so many things across. In, even in DC and multiple yeah. uses of it in Marvel, too. Oh, okay, okay. So cool, cool, Captain cool. Marvel is pretty, like, a big... It's like a generic term. Generic oh, Okay, term, that, yeah. that's good, that's good. Because so, when, I, when I Googled uh, Captain Marvel, it's like, oh, yeah. it's Shazam. Yeah. Because I knew Captain Marvel was Shazam, right? Like from from that before, I've never heard of right. Miss Marvel. I knew Miss Marvel, you know. And then she like, also goes by Captain, Captain Marvel as well. Is, Again, yeah, this yeah. is like a it's a weird thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just one of those like you guys kind of got like mixed yeah. up with your naming because it's such a common name. It's like John Smith. Yeah, they're like there's so many John Smiths out there. Yeah, but yeah. So, so uh, the, those are the two that will lead to. The next, the next Avengers, to, to, and then Ooh. the way they place it all so too, because she, I don't like, she has like a lot of abilities. Uh, like I don't know exactly all of them. Okay, wait, wait, so wait, they so will explain her origin story in her movie. So prior to Ant Man, in Ant Man, they're going to display like what happened during the time of Thanos. But I'm not Ant-Man's sure. Side. Yeah, um, that's what they think. Speculation says. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then and then for event, and then they're going to show the origin of. Um, Miss Marvel because you can't yeah. you can't just jump in like who is this person yeah because like he was using a pager yeah because because at the end of uh, at the end of um, Infinity War when you stay past the credits like Nick Fury dies but he's trying to call Miss um, Marvel I'm gonna mm-hmm. call her Miss Mar- Marvel because Captain Marvel like, <laughs> sure yeah yeah Miss Marvel I call- just know her Captain Marvel now <laughs> she he he calls Miss Marvel and then it's funny because we're all like what's that symbol and everyone's just shouting like Captain Marvel Captain Marvel because well, I knew, because I knew the Captain Marvel movie was being made. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. No, no. But I mean, like all the other people in the theater were like Captain Marvel. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they must who have is known this? the movie was being made too. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> so then, uh, so Miss Marvel will come out, and it's an origin story. Yeah. And then they're gonna do Thanos next. Yeah, go back. So to it's three. Avengers. It's four. only three. Yeah, two other movies, and then back to Avengers. Yeah. Nice. When does Avengers come out then? Should be next Christmas? year. Either are saying it's May. Oh, so fully. So it's one year, yeah. Dang. Okay, that's cool. Because I don't. But then when, we can't. We can't expect like a Black Panther or something like something crazy coming out in between. Not yet, no. Because it, it takes time to sure, sure. get all the stories, anyways. So. All right, and then so uh, that was funny because they were saying throughout the whole like Thanos thing, they're like, "What would, what would you do mm-hmm. if you got all the Infinity Stones?" He's like, "Well, I would kill. Like, what happens if you kill half the universe?" He's like, <laughs> "I would watch the sunset." He was honestly like a normal guy, like not a normal guy, but his perspective was pretty aligned with reality. You know, it's yeah. like yeah, that that's that's a, it's it's a very utilitarian um, perspective. You know, like yeah. what is the best outcome given the factors that I have, mm-hmm. and then the the superheroes they're more of like a uh, 
like a I don't want to say liberal, but like optim overly optimistic mindset. Yeah, you yeah. know. And then at the end of the um, the Infinity War, they show Thanos watching the sunset. Yeah. It's so perfect. I think I think what I liked also is because some people were saying because there's so many so many characters, so many heroes, right? Mm, yeah. Like. For a story to be really good, you have someone you're trying to focus on, right? Yeah, someone yeah. you understand throughout the whole story. And I right. think what I felt was that they focus on Thanos. They focus on yeah, Thanos. Yeah, 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 for sure. And that was a good thing. No, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Right? Yeah. Cryptic grounded to him to be understand the emotions that he yeah, went through. Because it's like, why? Why would he be doing all this? Mm -hmm. You know. And I'm hearing that there's a, if there's an edited version or director's cut they release, oh. there's a lot that they cut out from Ooh, Thanos's no backstory. Way. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I like how it's not like Thanos was looking for power. He's just looking to balance out the universe. Yeah. That was like, oh, wow. So I think, I think, I, I, if it's, it, you know what Would it they is? explain why he's in that mode? Like, True. what yeah. has happened in his past? Like, for sure, for sure, for sure. He, uh, no, is this, no, they did explain that. His home world. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did, they did. But maybe there's other things too. So, so the reason, the reason right. why he sought out on this quest to, um, balance out everything is because, uh, he knew that the resources were limited on his home world. Yeah. And then he, he proposed that, kill off half the, <laughs> the people so that the other half can thrive. Yeah. And they said, you're crazy. And then... And you're saying random, too. Random, it's not, yeah. It's not just poor. It's like everyone. It's everyone, yeah. Random, everyone. <laughs> and then... Of course. Yeah, what, happens, what happens is he, his, like, prophecy comes to, the, to reality. Like, they did end up destroying their own home world. And then he's like, okay, well, this is what's going to happen in the universe. We need to fix this. Yeah. And it was funny when uh, uh, Dr. Strange's like, congratulations, you're a prophet. Right. And that's kind of cool. Oh, the funniest, uh, I, I can't do the joke justice, but it was so funny when uh, Dr. Strange was like, who is your master? And he's like, what am I supposed to say, Jesus? It was <laughs> hilarious. Because <laughs> no, it's like, it was almost like a Simon Peter thing at the yeah. end of, you know, like, like you were with, you were one of the disciples. No, I'm not. Right. You know. There was another thing. Uh, now going back to where, going back to a bit more about Doctor Strange, mm -hmm. um, where he, when when they first meet uh -huh. uh, Iron Man and Doctor Strange. That that was that felt like a little too. That's when I said I was like, oh, this feels a little like, um, like gimmicky, like it felt like a bit of Justice League coming through that's why i was like oh i was kind of wary i was like is it gonna be a good movie because like this that interaction alone was kind of odd and like the special effects seemed a bit odd but then they kicked it into high gear and it became amazing yeah oh uh, no i i one thing i learned you learn from that is um you'd even give up iron man's life yeah but he didn't but he didn't yeah why because he loves iron man no oh. he saw the future and he knows what. There's one way to do this. Oh, and he's following. Through I on think that yeah, way. yeah, well, yeah. Makes so sense. that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not like he like that's what I'm saying. Those are the hints again. He said he wouldn't do it. Now he, why did he do oh, it? Oh, true. That he was... did see like what a million futures and only one that we succeed in. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And in that one, he has to give it to him. That's pretty sick to be Doctor Strange to see everything. It's like Doctor Strange's powers are so amazing. You know, like, yeah. damn, like how he sat there and he watched all the futures oh, man. <laughs> take place. It was crazy. Uh, it's funny how their reactions from Star-Lord was like, what's he doing? Yeah. yeah Is that normal? Yeah, yeah that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, the jokes in this, like, I really liked, like, um, because it, it had a lot of serious themes, I really yeah. liked how, because uh, cause Thanos was so powerful and stuff, I really mm -hmm. liked how uh, the, what are they? The Star, the Star Lord's team. What is that? Guardians. Guardians. I like. I really like how Guardians kept it very light, especially yeah. Star Lord. Like he, when uh, when um, uh, Thanos used the Reality Stone, and then he messed up, um, Bautista, the wrestler guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I the, thought he was dead. I was like, oh, that was the I was best like, oh man, you're dead. Then like, game over. It is a, a Reality Stone. I really liked it, but I guess the strongest is the Soul Stone. I was like too powerful. Stone. Yeah. But I don't. Well, what's so powerful about the Soul Stone? Uh, I don't know. That's what they say. It's the most powerful one. I know, but it's like, I have no idea why. Like, like, well, I would have thought Time Stone would have been. Oh my God! Best ever when they finally defeat. Oh man, this was the like that was like yo, you guys are screwed, yo. When I was watching it, and then uh, they they destroyed Vision's jewel. 
Oh yeah, yeah. And then he's like, "Oh no!" And then he reverse time, and then I know. Back. I was like, "Oh, you and then are so that's another God thing. That's thing. I understand your pain. Yeah, and your sacrifice, like, like, your oh, thing. Because because he but he's just sacrificed Gamora. <laughs> yeah. And then he just reverse time, and then oh, Vision came back and took the stone. That was like, yo, <sighs> that's that's why I'm like, that's got to be the most powerful stone. The time one. Yeah. But they say it's it's the soul. It's the soul stone. Yeah. Maybe the soul stone because. The soul stone is what killed half the universe, right? I guess. Yeah. That was such a good movie. I really liked it. There's... All right. I think I had a, you have anything written yeah, down? I, um, uh, epic ending, dragging up parts. Uh, yeah, if they're not actually dead... Th- if they're not actually dead at the end, that would be a cop-out. But you did fix that when you said a life for a life. That's cool. Yeah, I, I like think that. that's what they have to do. Uh, good way to end off. Uh, yeah, it would be a good way to end off the Marvel Universe. Okay, here, check this one out. Um, God of War's axe. When uh, when they're like, we need we need my weapon back, right? Mm-hmm. And then he's like, he's like, get like make the axe. I automatically thought of God of War. And then when when right. he even when he even like <laughs> threw the axe and then it stabbed into Thanos, I was and then he recalls it. You know, it's like, it's like, dude, this is this is God of War right now. <laughs> but then it made me think like, is this in Norse mythology? And then you said like, oh, in God of War, like whose axe is it? It's actually a Norse woman's axe. Yeah. So it probably yeah. is. And then we were trying to figure out what the name of the axe is. Did you figure it out? Uh, in God of War, it's Leviathan. I, so if it's called Leviathan in. Uh, in uh, this one, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know yet. Let me just, I'll, I'll look it up if you want to bring right. up something else. Uh, and then finally, uh, Spider Man's death was the most sad scene I have ever seen. Because it was oh. like, it wasn't, it wasn't like a right, like, there's something about when somebody dies and they take it with honor, you're like, yeah, man, you died. You did awesome. Mm-hmm. But he took it with cowardice. And that yeah. was like, like, Spider Man, when he was dying, it was like, it was like, you felt so bad because he wasn't ready to go. He was even like, uh, he's even like, I don't want to go, Mr. Stark. I, I don't want to go. And he was like hugging him. Yeah. And, it, and then uh, Tony's like, it'll be okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. And it's like, when like death is death, right? The mm-hmm. action's still the same, but it's how yeah. we take death. That's what changes. Yeah. So like when, uh, in the beginning, when uh, uh, Thor's best friend got stabbed in the chest, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, it was like he had an honorable death. You were like, yeah, man, you you were like sick. You crossed yeah. over well. But then when you see Spider Man's one, you're just like heartbroken. He's such a he's still a kid. He's still a kid. But no, no, it was the begging that got me. I like, know like, that's that's what made it more. Eyes. Like, shoot, you are a child right yeah, now. Yeah, you know, yeah. tears in his eyes. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. <laughs> oh man, I was like, oh, that was good acting there. That was really I, good. I, that was that had quite. Uh... He's he's gonna play. Um, uh, Uncharted. Nathan Drake is a kid. Is that right? Yeah, he's gonna play Nathan Drake as a kid. Oh. Yeah, so that'll be cool. But yeah. yeah, and then to feel what it feels like to be Tony. And when Tony got stabbed in the stomach, and then I was like, oh, oh I, Tony. He was... I was like, Tony's dead. dead. Game over. That's how you're. That's this is how we die. Mm-hmm. And then uh, no, he freaking killed himself. Yeah. So did you figure out the name of the axe? Those were my things. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing uh, that interesting. Just Stormbreaker. Oh, Stormbreaker. Uh, yeah. Too bad. Not Leviathan. No. Too bad. Too bad. Um, there was something. I always there was one thing I did not care for. What? The relationship between Vision. Oh, ah, uh, that was another part. That, that was the was one. Like that's why I'm giving like, that this a is, nine, this right? That's why it's a nine. Well, it's. it's a I don't nine care about their relationship. Do, so, do not care for their relationship. Yeah. yeah that, that's true. That was like that was another dragon part. I was like, okay, guys, I get it. You're in love. <laughs> Let's move on. Right. Yeah, I, I didn't like that acting too much. Yeah, I didn't like that scene. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But freaking, I loved how in the movie theater, every time like like a character would show up, that was awesome. They'd freak out. <laughs> like when Captain America showed up and he caught the thing, and it was like, oh my god. Right. You know, and then like they showed Red Skull come up. In that zone, yeah, they're like, they were oh, like, let's oh, go. No. You know, that was sick. And who was the no, other but, one? Uh, no, but what's when they were fighting in Wakanda, and then Thor shows up. That's when they all that freaked out again, too. Yeah, they were freaked out. Yeah, because he's back. So I guess Thor is the most powerful. He must he, be. Yeah. He just with, with, with his. He's a god with his now. weapon. Yeah. Yeah, but he's a god, right? So. But so is Thanos with those powers. He's it's, not. It sucked. You know what pissed me off? I, I don't like this. This is the problem with human emotion. You need to keep that in check because when they were so close to pulling off the gauntlet 
and yeah, then yeah, yeah. and then freaking uh, Star Lord got cheesed, and they started hitting him in the face, and then they lost their. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. My phone. Sorry, uh, not Siri. Yeah. Um, so, what was I saying? So that's so funny that like. Uh, I, I uh, think he got cheese and then hit him in the face right. and it messed up their yeah. their ability to control. I think there's a reason. I think that impact that's a character thing for. No, no, yeah, of course, of course, of course. But it's just like that pissed me off. I was like, come on. Because man. do they? I'm just wondering if is Gamora dead and. True, is Gamora dead? Yeah, true. And it how does that impact? Again, the Guardians movie, but they're all gone, so they must be coming back. True. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how it's gonna work. Yeah. Maybe Guardians is done. Like, or it's got to do... I like Guardians 1. Guardians 2 was meh. Yeah, Guardians 2 was meh. Yeah. So I maybe, maybe they just ended the series. They're like, all right, guys, I, I don't think it's paycheck, done. I think, I don't think so. I don't think... It's more like a trilogy. Everything's a trilogy, right? That's uh, true. Yeah. Yeah, true, true, true. All right, yeah. so some... Spe- all right, do you have anything else before I go into speculations? Like, uh, not speculations, like predictions? Uh, I don't think I did... I think I hit most of the things I wanted to talk. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, so uh, predictions. I like that one about Soul for Soul. That's cool. Um, some people were talking about X Men. So another business move is that uh, Marvel, Disney just purchased Fox. So now they have the rights to the X Men. I think so. Yeah. There must. But there's... I don't think. I think what they might do is they might start a whole new franchise. Like at the end of this, they might start a whole new franchise talking about alluding to the X Men. You know, there's like, so many. Yeah, there's so I, many other. I don't feel that they would put X Men in now. They'd have no, no, to no, put no, a no, movie no, no. to explain it mm-hmm. before the next one. Yeah. But I feel like at the end of the next one, they could introduce the X Men because they need to go somewhere after Thanos. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think is be Magneto, Galactus, Galactus? I think Galactus Ooh. might be. I don't know who they have rights to. That's who did who too. did Galactus fight Fantastic Four? Isn't that was, it? That, they're not doing good. Galactus. No, no, I'm saying like they'd have to purchase the rights yeah. to Fantastic Four mm-hmm, as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember in the TV series as a kid in the 90s when they were like playing that stuff. Uh, I believe it was Fantastic Four, and I think X Men showed up in an episode oh. to back them. Like they weren't like the main people. Right. Like for Galactus, the main people were Fantastic Four because of because of Silver Surfer. Yeah. Like Silver Surfer and uh, Fantastic Four work together and stuff. Right, 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 right. But I it, remember that. But I mean, after Thanos, you can only go towards Galactus. Yeah. No, wait, wait, no, no. Zero no. others. Galactus was in the last movie, wasn't he? No. No, for for Doctor Strange, is Galactus. Oh, was it? The, he called him something else though. No, I'm pretty sure it was Galactus. What? Is it the World Eater? The World Eater, yeah, that was Galactus. Uh, would they just do that in a non... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to Google this right now. Um, Doctor Strange. Oops. Look at that. Look at that. High tech. We're using phones. Strange. <laughs> Galactus. I'm pretty sure that's who they were talking about. Yeah, Doctor Strange punches Gal- uh, Dor Dormammu. Yeah. Is Dormammu the MCU Galactus? Yeah. Well, we don't know that. No, theaters, Marvel fans, so let's see the... Uh, maybe. Maybe. I, I think Dormammu represented Galactus. Well, that's what they're asking. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Cause, well, yeah, so if, if it wasn't... But um, this was the one thing that we have been waiting for 10 years, right? Yeah, Because they've been yeah. alluded to Thanos. They were for a long for time. For a long time. And was then, it since the first movie or no? Not from the first movie because that was we don't even have a MCU yet. That's true. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right sure, sure. after the Iron Man, then they started doing other ones. Then they can. F- you know, Wasn't Wolverine in Iron Man? No. No. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, that makes no sense. <laughs> Who's? What was that movie where you saw Tony Stark at the very end, where he walked in? Uh, that was Hulk's movie. Oh, Hulk. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, mixing them all up. But that was the a, the different Hulk, I think. All right. What was the end of uh, Wolverine where somebody walked in with him? Was it the Hulk's movie? Maybe it was the Hulk's movie. Uh, that's only when 
Iron Man came there. They didn't have anything to do with X Men. True. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So. Yeah. The. Um, I hope they don't revamp the X Men, and then just make like because then we've already finished the X Men franchise with like Wolverine. No, I, I think they'll they'll incorporate it in. It'll be the new X Men. Yeah. Is who's making the new X Men? Is that uh, Marvel? Is that Disney? The the new mutants one. Yeah. New mutants. Uh, I think it's still. <laughs> you know, he's he's like if he's like he's like uh some like, oh man, you're as powerful as Thanos, who destroyed half the universe. Right. Spoiler alert. Something like that. That'd be yeah, kind of yeah, cool, yeah, you know. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, who was that? That fourth wall for real. Uh, it's the guy who was in uh, Old Man. Um, old Man. Uh, sorry, uh, Old Old Boy. Old Boy, the remake with uh, Emily Olsen. Mm-hmm. They were together in that movie, and then they're together in this movie again. It's it's funny. I was watching this interview with um, Scarlett Johansson. She's like, oh, I know. Uh, I know that guy so well, the uh, Captain America, Josh he, Brolin. Yeah. So, yeah, he's like I know, I know Captain America so well. We've we've been we've been so many movies together. Yeah, yeah. He's also in the Deadpool, right? He's the same guy. Yeah, he plays uh, Cable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So two guys. That's what I'm saying. So it would be really funny if they created. I think they might. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. I, I did like, uh, like quick side note, the De- Deadpool trailer when they showed that guy. He's like, I just showed up for, uh, um, I just oh, showed right, up. Right, I saw, right. yeah, I saw yeah, the yeah, ad yeah. and like, you're hired. Peter. Peter, yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so final rescore. Any final thoughts? Definitely check out this movie if oh, you've been man. watching. It's yeah, you, if you've been watching yeah. this whole time. I, I think now I will. You have to watch this movie. It's like if you if you don't watch this movie, I mean, I think just it's, wasted all the yeah. ten years. <laughs> yeah, they've had one of the most fastest presale tickets or something. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Even I, on Tuesday, I, it's uh, it was all full. Yeah, I, was, I, I think uh, I think it will be for some tickets. time. There's nothing really much going on. And like people have been invested in this franchise for so long, like. They want to see how it's gonna end. Yeah. You know, at least this segment of it. I real. I'm like still stoked about that whole uh, soul for soul thing. That is definitely how they're going to pass on to yeah. the next generation. Because because the thing is, they're saying that they, they could be still in the soul stone, all the souls. This was it was like in the comics. So maybe, maybe they weren't dead. They just got absorbed into the stone. Yeah. But oh, I yeah, don't know how they're gonna explain like it. That. I don't know if they're gonna really go into that. They're just trapped in the soul stone. Yeah, I'm not sure how they will do this. Yeah, we'll see. That, that puts a lot of... Uh, that's actually... Like, I wonder also how much... And does it actually... Because yeah. he had to kill Gamora. It's crazy because, like, wow, he really loved Gamora. Yeah. as like his daughter. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Yeah, so final score? Yeah, it's still nine. Nine. I don't think it's changing, but, I, I, you know, I think I did find my... What, what I didn't like, yeah. Yeah, that one love scene. <laughs> It wasn't even a love scene. It was just like a romantic. I, I, but it was thing. just a way. Yeah, it was a little bit too long. I guess that part they could have just gone into the fighting when they were getting chased. That's true. Yeah. And then, Captain America shows up. Yeah. True, Again, true. another cheer. Yeah. yeah true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then, well, the thing is, what I find is funny. Scarlet has been in the movies, all the movies. As like much. a B B list, like as a. Yeah, 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 yeah. But. They made her to be the. But most she powerful. won't be the first female lead movie. It's gonna be Captain Marvel. Oh, true. <laughs> well, I mean, Black Widow was there too the whole time. Uh, she she's more than. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, both of them. Uh, she was there the longest. Yeah, yeah Black yeah, Widow. Yeah. I think that's what I meant to say. Not did, Scarlet. Did you notice? Uh, did you notice that Wakanda forever was? Uh, he's looking kind of skinny, eh? Did you notice that? He was like, he was. It's funny because like. Because that must take a toll on your body to go up and down, up and down yeah. right, with your weight. Like as an actor, I'm saying. And like, just like, uh, who's that guy? Christian Bale, the magician. Mm. <laughs> Freaking the best body morph guy ever. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, so you want to trip yourself out if you're listening to this? Check out Christian Bale body transformation on YouTube. He does some crazy stuff for roles. But yeah, so like, uh, even even like all those actors too, like uh, Captain America and yeah. Thor, they weren't looking as jacked as they did in their own solo movies. Because mm-hmm. it's a lot of work to keep that up, you know? Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Wakanda forever. It wasn't really forever. 
No. <laughs> I guess no condom not forever. <laughs> Spoiler alert, he dies. Or he gets absorbed. I did like that though stuff. too. Like as he was I thought the other girl was going, but he went. Yeah, oh how they did that, that was that was pretty sick. What if what if she sacrifices herself for him? Maybe. Ooh. Must be something. Yeah, I really like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes a lot of sense, actually. There's trapped in the soul stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not a cop-out. To me, that's a great way around it. Like, that's yeah. not a cop-out. Right. It's a good, like, pass. Mm-hmm. Like a good passing on of the torch. Yeah, I think that would make more sense, yeah. I think that the, the end, like, it would be the next Avengers where the final ones, whoever yeah. dies, is dead. I think, the, I think, like, it was probably quite... Probably the originals. It, it did. It, it wasn't too childish, like, like some scenes were, of course. But I mean, like mm-hmm. when they, when they killed Loki, I was like, no, Whoa. yeah, no, it wasn't. That's what I'm saying. Like, I liked I liked the Guardians because they kept it light. Because yeah, there's a I, lot I, of seriousness. Like, yeah, Damn. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm like, wow, they showed him getting choked. To yeah, him. choked to death. Yeah, yeah. and they showed. God uh, damn. Oh, you, uh, another thing, uh, Hulk the fear. That was oh, that's right. That's that's the one thing I didn't want to mention that. too. Yeah. yeah. He didn't want to show up because he... I was he, wondering, I was like, why isn't he coming out? He got like, pummeled oh, no. so hard against yeah, Thanos. Makes sense. He just... <laughs> he wanted to stay in hiding. That's funny, yeah. He yeah. got destroyed. Yeah, his first time ever, the Hulk got, like, manhandled. Yeah. Because usually, like, the Hulk is the best. Mm-hmm. Even in the beginning, well, that's where he got manhandled. Yeah. But they're like, but why did, why did he choose to send the Hulk back to Earth? Why Hulk? Uh... Because he's from Could've Earth. Thor. I guess. Could have been Thor. Thor has a different mission. He has to get the axe. True. Okay. Or and and the, yeah, the axe. that guy knew it. The, I guess. His friend. Yeah. 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 I mean, because he's not from... He's not their people, right? Right. He's not a Asgardian? Hulk? No. The... No, that guy's Asgardian. Oh, oh, you're saying... But like, Hulk is not Asgardian. Oh, one of these does not belong. Yeah. So he had to kick out the one that does not belong. Yeah. It has to match the trailer as well. Sure, sure. Wakanda forever. <laughs> but you were saying that uh, uh, the Hulk I did wasn't like... in the thing. Yeah, yeah, it was in the trailers. Yeah. So I guess it's... I don't, but again, I don't know. Misleading. Or in the taste. next movie. Or the next movie. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what's interesting? The Wakanda forever thing is, is like it's... When he's not wearing the suit, it's double fist. But when he's wearing the suit, it's claws. So I'm wondering either the claws don't retract so he can't make fists or <laughs> it's just it's like a the war cost. thing. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> or, like... or it's like a war thing. Like he's like, oh, like mm-hmm. wartime. In wartime, right. they spread their claws, but then in peacetime, they just keep them as dabs. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were, yeah. Um, I liked how he's the shield that they had and he's like oh, oh man that was so awesome just unlocked you know sector this this that, that was really cool how they're like uh, <laughs> that was good that was good tactics though when they're like oh they're surrounding the field what are we gonna do if they get through because if we're surrounded we're dead right? Right, right and he's like okay open the barrier just in the front yeah yeah and then and they we're just gonna the fight them yeah the that sector. was sick bro that shield was so strong though it was holding back like so much uh, yeah well, what was powering What's powering the? What's Shield? powering? No, what's powering that city? It's not an Infinity Stone. No, it's it's the, it's the it's thing. Vibranium. Yeah, vibranium. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he didn't get his thing too, right? Like a shield. Oh, he's like give, make give this man a shield, and it was like two. It was two shields. Yeah, it was they like gave a, him a bonus. They're like, you don't need one. Yeah, you need two. <laughs> two shields. But he's got to get back the Captain America shield prior to. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That was nice. really good. Good movie. Yeah, good way to like slowly wind it down until next year's. Are you excited for Ant Man? I think yeah, now because yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't now, now really, I, uh, I really wasn't. <laughs> and I think now I am because if it really, really connects yeah. to everything that's going on, yes. I what what about uh, Miss Marvel? Of course. Yeah, I think she will be having a more really big impact. Really, I think, I so. think she will have a okay. big impact. We were looking at her superpowers, and it's like she's like a god herself. Like she, yeah. can, she can control gravity. She's all like these weird things. Like I'm like, energy. what the hell? Like, who are you? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but I guess we'll figure out her origin when the movie comes out. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be go, it goes to the '90s. So. Yeah, that'll be cool. She'll be watching like cartoons. Like he even used the freaking Pinky in the Brain. What did he call? A pager. Yeah, pager. Goddamn pager. 
Yeah. From the 90s. Yeah, that's true. It's a, like, time con... Time con... Like... But uh, even Tony Stark had a flip phone number. He's like... Yeah, but that's just because Rogers... Uh, I don't know why he would have yeah. a flip phone. He could still call exactly. and see Rogers on yeah, exactly. normal iPhone. Exactly, yeah. I don't know why he but would. he was complaining about it, though. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that either. Maybe there's, like, a reference if you watch, like, the Captain America Possibly. movies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I'm going to give this one a 11 out of 10 now, now that we talked about it. I'm, ex- <laughs> I'm excited to watch it. <laughs> the soul to f- soul? Yeah, yeah. When you got me, you got me with the whole soul, soul for a soul thing. I'm like, okay, I see it. I see it. It's cool. <laughs> I'm excited to watch it again on Tuesday. We'll see if the dragging bits are still dragging on Tuesday. Yeah, that's yeah. You're gonna be watching it twice. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think I want to buy this one. For sure. Are you gonna buy uh, Captain America? Oh no, no, sorry. Um, are you gonna buy Black Panther? Yeah, buying that one too. Yeah, that comes out next month soon. Yeah, Very soon. and that wasn't a long ago, and it did really, really well. Yeah, it was great. So they have to make another Black Panther. For sure. For sure. For right. Sure. Yeah. For a billion dollars. Soul for a soul. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So uh, until next time. Wakanda forever. Not really forever. Soul for soul. Take it easy. <laughs> Peace. Bye bye.